The fire chief in Moore, Oklahoma, says the search for the dead and for survivors of yesterday's powerful tornado is nearly complete. KXAN's Josh Hinkle is live in Moore, Oklahoma tonight with a look at what's next for the tornado victims. Josh. Well, Robert and Leslie, we're here in the hardest hit area of Moore right now. Just to set the scene, in front of me, you've got a movie theater and a bowling alley that have both been heavily damaged. I'm going to step out of the way now so you can see some of the most grotesque scenes here in the entire tornado damage. This is the hospital that's here. You can see, I mean, it's completely ripped apart. All around it in the parking lot, cars are just piled on top of each other like this was a junkyard. Now, if we can look at this video, we go straight across the street. Homes are leveled. People are returning to see what they can salvage, but heavy rains today did not help their chances. Just up the block where homes once stood, it's a field of debris where we saw search and rescue teams scout the rubble for survivors while loved ones watched and prayed from the street. We have family members that live over here and I don't know if they're alive or not. You know, it's just crazy. We have confirmed that everything's clear, which is good. So you don't, you know that nobody's left in there. And that rescuer you just saw, he is from Nebraska Task Force 1. There are rescuers and search and rescue teams from all over the United States here. Right now, we've even got a team from Texas Task Force 1 here in Moore. That's where we're live, Moore, Oklahoma. Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. Josh, thank you so much for that. Search and rescue teams are uh, still going through the debris in that neighborhood, and we're seeing some new images of the destruction this afternoon. Take a look. The National Weather Service now rates this tornado as an F EF5. That's the strongest on the scale. The ranking is based on damage researchers are seeing on the ground. Now, here's an indication of how bad the damage was. This is a picture of homes, a uh, five-block area near South Santa Fe Avenue and more. That was before yesterday's tornado. Now, check this out. Here's the same image along with a picture taken from the air of the same area. And you can see where there was once more uh, than 100 homes there. And now there's just the rubble there. Those teams still going through all the debris in that neighborhood, and some people are being allowed to return. They're only finding ruins. Laura McCartney and her family rode out the tornado in a shelter, then rushed to find her missing mother-in-law. They drove up on nothing but leveled houses. Um, came over here, parked three blocks away, ran to the house, and she came running to us. She was fine. But everything's gone. She's alive. We're alive. We ate dinner last night together. Just one of many stories there in Moore. And sometimes something so simple can mean so much. The official death count in Moore actually went down this morning. It now stands at 24.